All right, welcome to Organic Chemistry, where we're going to learn how to look at pictures of molecules and say what their names are, or be given the names of chemicals and draw what their molecule looks like. And the ones we're starting with are chains of carbon and hydrogen that we call alkanes. And we'll see variations on this in a minute, but for now, what defines the name of an alkane is how many carbons are in it. And there's a list of prefixes that you get to memorize that goes meth, eth, prop, but. Now these stand for one carbon, two carbons, three carbons, four carbons. And these are prefixes that you just get to memorize. And after these, they start making sense. Number for five carbons, we have the prefix pent, as in pentagon or any number of other places you might see that. Six goes with hex. Seven goes with hept. Eight carbons gets oct. Nine goes with known. And ten goes with dec. So from five up, you've probably seen these before when doing geometry or just chemical nomenclature. We've had things like pentoxide, hex, hexachloride, and so on. But these first four are kind of brute force memorization. Um, MEPB is the sequence for these. You can remember MEPB or me eat peanut butter or anything that makes sense to you for keeping that order of letters straight. And that's pretty much all we need to crack this first section. We're counting carbons and getting a name off of that. And because these are alkanes, the reason we call them alkanes is because all their names end with ane. So in this section, if you have one carbon, then you are talking about methane, and the rest of these are ethane, propane, butane, and so on down like that. So equipped with that, we should be able to knock these off pretty easily. CH4 contains a single carbon, it is methane. Now, another thing you're going to see here is there are a lot of ways to represent an organic molecule, a lot of different notations, and we're going to throw them all at you just to get you used to them. So you're going to see you're going to see linear line line structures and these structures and just formulae and we'll deal with it all. It won't be too bad. This thing, one carbon, two carbons, three carbons, makes it propane. This has two carbons, and so it is ethane. We could have written this as CH3CH3 or as C2H6. Any of those would be valid for ethane. This is a line, line structure, and I never got properly used to these. The point of the lines is the end of every line is a carbon atom unless we specifically tell you it's something else. And personally, I draw the carbons in every time just because I can't read these reliably without it. So this is what that molecule really looks like. And of course, this would be a CH3 and this would be a CH2, 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 CH3. But we're in the alkane section, so all we really need to get the name is the number of carbons, which is one, two, three, four, five. This must be pentane. C5H12 has five carbons. That is also pentane. Just two different ways to name the same chemical. Here we have, there's a carbon. In the middle here we have CH24, so they're saying there are four carbons in a chain then a CH3 on the end, and a CH3 on the other end. There are a total of six carbons here. One plus four plus one. Six carbons makes this hexane. This one, two, three, four, five carbons is pentane again. They've given us pentane three different ways. And this thing, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons. That would make this heptane. Not too bad so far.